Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to YouTube 101, the show where I help you run a more successful YouTube channel. It's brought to you by Elgato Gaming. You'll see their brand in the upper left-hand corner. They're interested in making sure the customers of their capture card get the most after the purchase and not just the initial purchase. What we're going to be talking about today is title tags and description. This is something that a lot of people go wrong with. Even people that make great, amazing, excellent, awesome videos don't know how to title or tag them or describe them so that they're easily searchable and findable. And what I'm going to help you do today is tag your videos in a way that anybody in the world can find them. The number one thing that I want to tell you is that you must have the title of the game in the video. I, I don't even have an example of this because I can't find the videos that don't have the games tagged in them. They're, they usually have very random titles like did awesome in this game, went flawless, or I want to talk about abortion, or just something random, but you can't find that they're gaming videos because they're not tagged in gaming. Same thing if you're doing pets, if you're doing animals, if you're doing martial arts. Instead of just saying, like, fight, you could just be, like, ninjutsu fight or a taekwondo fight or something like that so that you can find them. So we're just going to assume that you have the title of the game in the video. I'm going to show you some examples here of the title, Kid Gets Wrecked in Ghost, which is not a very good title, but I have seen this exact title before. Uh, wrecked was spelled a little bit differently. I have spelled it the sarcastic way there. And you'll see that there are only about 6,500 total results for this search and that the views on these videos are well less than spectacular. If if you had very good gameplay and had instead titled your video Flawless Ghost Gameplay, you can see that there is about 1.6, uh, about 160,000 results, which means a lot more people are searching for it. Number one video is Pomage. He knows this. He knows that people are looking for flawless gameplay. Number two is Artier. Number three is Elite Shot. And they all have very good views because they're at the top of the search rank for this thing. The next thing you can do is if you're doing a more specific, uh, special or niche strategy like me, I do gun reviews, you want to have the title of the thing that you're talking about and then the thing in the game like if you want to do Call of Duty Ghosts, Domination Strategies, League of Legends, Leona Gameplay or in this example Titanfall Smart Pistol Review Guide all these sort of things I have it in the title tags description everywhere so when you type in Titanfall Smart Pistol it's my result but there were my video at the top but the idea is that you have Titanfall and then you have what you're talking about you want to have the name of the game and then the subject matter which is ideally in the game and spelled properly the other thing I would like to point out about all of the titles here that you're seeing properly is that they have the right capitalization, the right spelling, and they're basically following a normal grammatical structure which helps you a lot. You can see the same thing, vector, ghost. I have vector and ghost in my title, it's in my description, it's on the thumbnail, it's in the tags, and it's up near the top of the search results. There's a lot of other people playing this game, so you have to beat them at their own game, but what you need to do is absolutely have the title of the game somewhere in the, video, in, in the actual video title, and then have what you're talking about about. If you want to know what's popular, if you want to know what's trending, what search results are good, this is the easiest thing to do. You go to YouTube and you type in, I'm going to use Ghosts as an example, that's my specialty, Call of Duty Ghosts, and just don't hit enter, just let it autofill, and it shows you all of the most popular searches. Number one is Predator right now, number two is the Devastation trailer, uh, number three is going to be multiplayer gameplay, and then we're kind of going down from that, but you can see that these are still the most popular searches and things that people are searching for, so let's say when I did a video about the Predator, it was very popular, and you can include these words in your title in order to drive more people to your video. The other thing about properly tagging the game that you're in is that YouTube has a featured gaming section, it has featured sections, and as long as the text is about right, it'll auto-detect it and put things where it needs to be. They have a whole section of Grand Theft Auto videos, there's a section of popular games, and Gary's Mod. If you just w made a video, it's like Derpy Moments, and nobody would know how to find it, or if you made Derpy Moments in Gary's Mod, YouTube will pick that up and put it in in the Gary's Mod section, and it has a much better chance of being popular. I went through the popular videos and I found the ghost one. People actually subscribe to the tags of the videos, to their titles, so if you do this properly, it will push to some sub boxes based just on that content. Again, there's an art to this. It's not perfect every time. It takes a little bit of practice, but that will help. The next thing I want to talk about is the description, and it helps a lot if your description actually describes the video. This is something that I hate seeing. I see it often on videos that people send me to critique. It'll just say, like, hit that like button. Can we get 5,000 likes? Don't forget to subscribe. Click this link. Follow me here is all the first stuff. 
and nowhere in the description does it actually describe the video. It's just all external links somewhere asking for favors. I personally, as a viewer, find that very off-putting. Other viewers find it off-putting as well. And I just don't think that it's a very effective strategy to have it set up like this. Now, there are successful YouTubers that do this. If you look at, like, uh, I'm just going to pick on CNanners. That's all his description is, but he's CNanners. He doesn't need to be searchable or findable. Plenty of people find him anyway. Every time he posts a video, it goes to the most popular in gaming, its homepage, all that stuff. He doesn't need this, but you do need this. Here's an example of a good one that I found randomly from Stampy Longhead. It says, Minecraft Xbox Sister Challenge Part 3. Welcome to the Sister Challenge. In this series, my sister will be trying to play Minecraft for the first time while completing three different challenges. She needs to sleep in a house, bake a cake, and mine a diamond. Enjoy. What's great about this is it welcomes you to the video. It's legible. It's in perfect, crisp, clean English with the right uh, capitalization, punctuation. It describes the video, and it has tags of the game there in the description because the description also helps your search result. If you have Minecraft in the title, Minecraft in the description, Sister Challenge, Sister Challenge, uh, things like Diamond House, Bake Cake, things that you can do, these also show up in the search engine, and when you complement those with tags, they work very, very well. What he did is he added all of his follow, external, sponsor, all that sort of stuff down there in the description so that you can contact him if you click the show more. Unfortunately, you get less clicks if you do that. Usually you get the most clicks on your external links if they're at the top or if they're definitely above the show less. I'll show you what I do. I usually include the two most important links of the video at the top or the one most. In this case, it's my Twitter and the previous video. Sometimes it's a sponsored link. Sometimes it's a link to a journal or an article or whatever it is that I'm talking about at the top if I want people to go there. And then no more than two lines. I never go more than two lines at the top unless it's something extremely special. And then I have the description. A lot of my more recent videos, I've just been leaving the Twitter link and starting with the description. I describe what I'm talking about. And in doing so, I also describe popular uh, search terms that people are looking for so that it makes them easier. And then I add all of the sponsored stuff in the bottom for people that are interested. And the last bit that I'm going to show you is what a lot of YouTubers would consider top secret, but I would consider it more basic common sense than anything else. It's my actual tags for my What Happened to Titanfall video. You can see my description there. Everything below that's the sponsored links. I have What Happened to Titanfall. There I have my Twitter link, so people can see that and go there if they want to. I like my Twitter followers, you know. And then I have in the description Titanfall, Hype, Goodwill, Cod Killer, uh, fallen off, what happened, and why are more people not playing Titanfall? Very common search results. In the description, we have Titanfall video game. YouTube does this thing where they have Titan, where they have the game, and then in parentheses, it's video game. We're like, uh, you'll see down at the bottom, video game, industry, montage, film genre. I have Titanfall, Titan Spacefall, Titan, and then Fall, and then I have Titan 5. It's spelled wrong. I have TF, Xbox One, PC, uh, in depth is my series, so it, it cross links with those. Then I have my name, the gameplay. It's a commentary. I also include montage, tips, tricks, strategy, all these sort of things. I'm the gameplay guy, mostly when they're looking for me. What I'm trying to do here is make sure that this video shows up on the in depth, like suggested videos, which is one of the other things you're trying to do is get your videos to show up among suggested videos when people are looking at other stuff. And then I'm adding in stuff from the title. We have what happened to Titanfall, Titan Fail. Uh, hype, hype train, downloadable content, players online, playlists, because I know people are searching Titanfall playlists, Titanfall players online, Titanfall player count, user base. Uh, then we have some more stuff down there. I think it got a little repetitive with the Xbox One. I have popularity, COD killer. Uh, I also added the gameplay that I was playing, even though I was not at all talking about the gameplay. I added CTF, Atlas, and Flawless, so that when people search Flawless CTF or the Atlas with Triple Threat, they will again find my video, and that matches with everything else in the title tags and description. It makes it very, very easy to find. So, in summary, what you want to do if you're doing gaming is you want to include the name of the game in your title, uh, a brief summary of the title and what you're doing. Then you want to have maybe one or two lines of external links in the description. Then you want to describe the video in a clear, concise uh, English logically consistent manner that also includes some popular tags and then in the actual tag section add all of the tags that are relevant to what you're talking about. Do not add tags in the description because YouTube will ban you for that but that is exactly what I do and it works. It's not rocket science, it's not super complicated but it is often overlooked. It is a little nuance that will help you a lot. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe and us oh, eh. <laughs> getting ahead of myself here, getting a little excited, you know. As always, be sure to check out Elgato. They're my sponsor, and they're one of the best companies to work with because they care about you post-purchase. They want you to get the best out of your capture card, even when it comes to things that don't have anything to do with the capture card. Drifter out.